Hi, salam and peace. This is your podcast, quote unquote, Black Woman Speaks Arabic. My name is Matsudisa, TCK, third culture kid, and Arabic happens to be my second language. In this podcast, you can expect at least one quote unquote black woman speaking Arabic, breaking the stereotypes and stigmas around quote unquote black women speaking Arabic. You can expect to hear various topics surrounding the Arabic language, including the Arabic dialects that are rarely heard of. In the first episode, we had a chance to hear of the Arabic dialect called Hassaniya Arabic. In the last episode, we had a glimpse of an Arabic learning journey with Sister Karima al Hark. In this episode, we will hear about another Arabic dialect called Chadian Arabic. The information I will share with you today has been taken from Wikipedia, worldatlas.com, YouTube, shebecosmetics.com and for my own observations, experiences and knowledge. Chadian Arabic. Where is it spoken? Well, it's spoken in Chad, of course, but where is Chad? Chad is a country that is located west of Sudan. It is also located north of Central Africa. It shares borders with Libya, Niger, Nigeria, Cameroon and Central Africa Republic. The Chadian Arabic dialect also has other names. It's known as Shua Arabic, Suwa, Bagara, Western Sudanic Arabic, and Chad Arabic. And where did the Chadian Arabic originate from? It is said that in the 17th century, the Chadian Arabic had risen from nomads in Chad whose population had largely increased. In Chad, the most widely spoken form of Arabic is not modern standard Arabic, but they actually consider the Chadian Arabic to be their native tongue. The rest of the percentage of the population speaks languages that have found to reach over 120. And uh, this includes, by the way, that you can find that they speak French more than the Chadian Arabic that they consider to be native to them. And is the Chadian Arabic only spoken in Chad? No, it is not. You can find the language also spoken in countries it shares borders with, including southwest of Sudan. If you are like me and you like to use natural products in your hair, you may have come across the famous Shebe powder. The Shebe powder, it comes from the plant lavender cotton, which happens to grow in Chad. It doesn't grow exclusively in Chad and it's known to stimulate the hair growth of four seat type hair extensively. It's popular in Chad owing to the hair regimen that is widely used and has passed from generation to generation. I have personally used the Shebe powder and it's actually quite smoky in its smell, charcoaly as well. And you'd form a paste, put it in your hair and do your favourite protective style. You can leave it in for a few hours or you can leave it in for days. I haven't used it long enough to see the results but I do find that it, um, it puts firmness and supports my hair. And what does the... Chadian Arabic sound like Dialogue مع ناس مع راجل بنتلي براون راجل أمريكي تربى في تشاد يعلمنا شوية عربي من التشاد oh, I did say that you would hear at least one quote unquote black woman speak Arabic didn't I Come on guys let's hear Bentley Brown an American who was raised in Chad teaching Chadian Arabic <laughs> between Chadian Arabic and other Arabic dialect. Uh, you didn't know they spoke Arabic in Chad? Chad? Ewa, Yamba Sudan, Garba Sudan, Kida. Well, I'm going to speak Arabic in Chad. I'm going to speak Arabic in Chad. I'm going to speak Arabic in So I'm going to use a sentence in Chadian Arabic to illustrate. Gaal tafham kalama lasa gaal nagul ilik da? Gaal tafham kalama lasa gaal nagul ilik da? Some of the differences are grammatical. For example, in the first person in Chadian Arabic, I would most often use nun. The n sound to precede any of my first person conjugated verbs. For example, I talk is ana nahaji. I go is ana namshi. 
I read is Ananegiri. Ba is also in Chadi and Arabic for first person conjugations, but it's largely in rural areas, especially as you go further east. For example, It's fun. And that was Bentley Brown, an American raised in Chad, sharing his knowledge on a Chadian Arabic dialect as well as the stereotypes and stigmas that he faced while growing up as a Caucasian. You can find him on YouTube. Until next time, that's all for your podcast, quote unquote, Black Woman Speaks Arabic. Ma'asalama. Bye.